Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Yorkies are crazy. Ask me if I'm ever gonna get another Yorkie. Nope, I'm going back to Chihuahuas. I love my Yorkie, especially in the summer. But she's wild. She is so wild. One thing I have learned with Ellie is that no matter what, some training takes, oh shoot, I forgot my grapes. Some training takes a long time with her. So we are still working I mean, on. She has to sit now when I tell her off. She, we're still working on some stuff. And the big problem is that it's not that she wants to misbehave, it's that she has a lot of energy and it drives her. I forgot my grapes. It is actually super treacherous trying to make it down to the goat barn now because everything is ice in the morning and then water in the afternoon. I know, life is awful when you're on a leash. Let go of it. <laughs> She's like, I will kill it. <laughs> Let's go. I want to enjoy my day. <laughs> Here, give her to me. Don't let her run. So my plan is that I have no plan. Let's see if Lucy lay an egg, because she was really excited. My plan is that she don't, that she doesn't chase the other dogs. She trips me <laughs> and goes under me, she, gonna die. She has almost tripped me before. You have to wait, Ellie. You're waiting. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You have to learn to pay attention to me. When Ellie gets in fight mode, <laughs> which is like chase mode, or like she wants to fight the rooster, she gets really worked up and excited and she loves that stuff. She's a fighter, not a lover. <laughs> and that is really true, you guys. She is a fighter, not a lover. There is not a lot of, she's not an affectionate, sweet, loving dog. She is really sweet and really loving, but she's not a lover. She is 100% a fighter. She wants to fight the world. So I need to train her to pay attention to me, which she does, except for when she's in fight mode. When she's in fight mode, it's no, it's, it's bad. So today I brought grapes to try and bribe my little goat to love me. Try the duck and the goose with a grape in their water. So some of you guys are probably thinking like, oh, I noticed a trend on this channel. You're a briber. Yeah, I'm a briber. And I'm a proud briber. I am proud of being a briber. She did what? She sucked the juice. She took a grape. The duck sucked the juice out of it and then dropped the skin. She's pretty funny. Zoe walked away from it and she snapped. I just gave them fresh water. I don't know why her face is dirty. I gave them fresh water last it's night. She digs holes. I know, but usually she cleans herself. You gotta make sure grapes get picked up because they're dangerous. Dangerous for dogs. All the she ate all the insides. Give her another. Put that up so we can throw it out because it's. Not good for dogs. Give me a small. Did the, looks like they've been through the ringer last night. Uh oh, did they see it? Oh, she's going for it. Ellie, you stay. Nope, she doesn't see it. She's like, I want one right here. Put it right here, Sylvie. Awesome. Typically a duck will wash its face after it gets muddy like that. Lucy, I wonder if you'll eat from my hand. Lucy, Rob, Don't. that's... Do you want it? She said no. No, I do not want it. So Zoe lays an egg every two days now. Duck walk up, walked up to her face and said, hey, got any grapes? Well, she ate it. A duck walked up she to a lemonade stand out. and said to the man running the stand, Hey, got any grapes? And the man said, No. <laughs> My grandkids used to love listening to that song. All right, let's feed everybody. No babies. No babies.
uh, I don't know. I, I lose everything in this barn. So Blossom's Utter looks popped. So uh, Blossom's Utter looks popped or it looks almost popped. It's in the process of popping. She had huge growth from yesterday to today. Her due date is tomorrow. I really feel like it would be unheard of for her to go on her due date. They don't like you. Come on, bed. Come on, in here. Get in there. Get in there with your leash. All right, I am sitting over here in the shade. Let's see, who likes a grape? Oh, they're still eating their grain. <laughs> Sophie's like Santa Claus. So I sit out here every morning. And I watch udders. So oh my gosh, that oh hers looks popped. Smoke up. So wow, that udder looks big. Look at all those udders. <laughs> Do you guys see them? Wait, wait, that's a boy. Oh wait. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I know they're wild. Off, Did you guys know that goats are the second hardest Tell animal to raise animal. to have? Wow, her udder is so popped. I know. That means she could have a baby any time, like 24 hours. Well, she seems hungry still. <laughs> Here, look. Don't get, look at her, look at those. Stop licking my finger. Look at that. So, oh. how you know if it's popped is if it gets like this tight feeling. Look, sweet girl. Okay. Come see me. No, let me, let me, oh, they still have grain. Come here, mama. Oh. Oh, he, oh, ooh. Oh, goat hair? she loves it. It's blue. She thinks it's green. I mean, she, uh-oh. Okay, hold on. All right, it's working, you guys. Fine. It's working. Fine. I want Mocha to have one because I okay. feel bad for her. Everybody's okay. like, oh, we love grapes. So either they finally just started trusting me or, here, look at Rosie. Rosie. I guess if you're pregnant, it's you're more likely to want them. Wait, I'm trapped. She doesn't. Oh look, over there, my girl likes them. She's Your girl. Mine. I know. I forgot. I love her so much. I wish she was mine. And the one over there is mine. Yeah, and I got these two, and you get the boy too. Uh, yeah, because he loves them. Yeah, okay. he's annoying. What about Lola? Give some to Rosie too, because she doesn't like it. I don't think she doesn't like it. I think she just doesn't know. Oh, All right, well, my girl. Whoa. Wait, no. My girl absolutely loves me now. Whoever jumps doesn't get one. <laughs> Whoever jumps doesn't get one. <laughs> That's the boy. Don't give him any. I have to use four. This gives us such a good opportunity to see udders, but. Do you want the grapes back? Yeah, I want the grapes back. Uh-oh. But who's, who's, oh, Lola. Hi, Does Lola like them? No. She smelled it and was like, no. Come here, Rosie. Billy, Billy, I swear, if you jump on me, I'm going to fall. Look at the babies in her, though. Holy moly. Can you guys see? No. The babies on either side, and then Mocha, too. She looks big. Ow, 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 off. Oh, Get off me. Blossom. <laughs> Sweetheart, you're utter. I mean, Blossom's probably going to be the first to deliver. Mocha. I thought they'd like the stem, but they don't. Oh, I just shocked her. Mocha. <laughs> They're all gone. Oh, she's gonna eat the stem Mocha now. Just eats my fingers. You want stem? <sighs> oh, he does. Here, give Mocha some more. That was my last one. Oh, did he eat the whole stem already? No, he dropped it. <laughs> Anyways, the other thing I want to try with them is animal crackers. They're not good for them, and now there are too many fruits and vegetables, but. Apparently, goats love animal crackers over everything. Apparently, ducks love grapes. Yeah. Apparently, goats love grapes. Boop. All right. So, there is baby number one and her udder. It's huge. It is huge. It's the nicest what? udder we have so far, though. It's mocha. I found two more grapes. We're going to give them to Mocha because Mocha is not a pushy goat. She's a oh. kind, sweet, amazing Macchiato. goat. Macchiato. And we love her. I just can't believe that we're sitting out here in February, enjoying the day. Blossom. <laughs> I want her to come in here so you guys can see her yeah, belly. Last one to blossom. Yeah. No, Mocha's coming back. Give it to Mocha. Look at her belly. But look at who's coming to me. She's getting to be so friendly now. Look, it's schmuckums and macchiato. 
I don't know how many babies she's got in there, but she definitely has more than one. Those two definitely have more than one. I'm thinking we're gonna get five babies, which is basically doubling our goat herd in one season. No, I think we're gonna have five all together. I'm gonna get cute babies because the boy was ugly. I loved the boy. A yellow baby. We want a blonde, blue-eyed girl. Hey, let me talk. I want a yellow baby with brown ear pattern like you. Like frosted ears, both brown and blue eyes. Okay, so a blue. Look at that. Because I have a dog like that. And I Logically, though, I'm expecting five babies, possibly six, because I did have a dream that one of our goats had three babies. The white one had three babies. If she had three babies, they would all be mine because she's my goat, and then Joe Sophie would be so upset because she didn't get like the biggest number of babies, and then I would be the winner. I can hear you. <laughs> Just kidding. I want my um, I want my kids to have their dreams come yeah, true. Yeah, I already know what I'm naming two of my goats. Yeah, she's not naming her her goats. We're gonna let our subscribers I, name them. No, I'm naming mine. <laughs> Gosh. I already have two names picked out. Milk Dud. We're not calling a baby goat Milk Dud. It's going to be Milk Dud. It is not gonna be Milk Dud. If it's Lola's color. It's Milk Dud. I mean, she's the color of Milk Dud. Yeah, she's Milk Dud. Hi, Milk. Hi, Milky Auto. Come here, baby. All right, well, we should get back to schooling. But look at those babies. <gasps> she wants them. Look at her babies. Her babies. She's, which one do you think is the biggest? This one? Tilly. Yay. <laughs> but she's shorter and she's stockier. So, oh my God, she's just coming up to me. I love, I love that she's short and fat. I like that she's short and fat too. But back, remember a month ago, I thought maybe she was in labor. At her, I looked at her belly. You couldn't even tell she was pregnant hardly. I don't even know why I was thinking she could be in labor. She's so much bigger now. You are a chubby goat. She comes to me now. This is like all new. I'll bite my fingers. There's nothing in the bag. Blossom's like, hey, that used to be me. Hey, don't you dare horn me. <laughs> There's an old wives tale for goats that says that if the goat doesn't get a massive udder, then it means that they're not expecting a buck. If they get a huge udder, it means they're expecting a buck because mother nature knows that bucks are bigger and heavier and stronger and need more milk. Old wives tale, but it's interesting that none of our goats have that big, huge udder. Blossom's udder still looks small. It looks kind of almost oh. popped for her or in the process of popping because it's kind of rounder and harder than it was before. It was more soft and squishy before. Okay, so we tested out my pump for the goats and it is all in working condition. I'm gonna wash it all. Also, it is, it is cordless. So there's a battery in here and I can take it down to the barn and not even have to worry about plugging it in. You just unplug this. Charge it and then turn it on. It works. It works. Good job. It's Maybe awesome. Charge it. Yeah, charge it and it'll be all ready for me when I'm ready for milking goats. All I need is for them to give birth already. Like, I've been watching them all day. Tonight, I'm going to start leaving my phone on that program all night so I can watch them in the camera. Or I can at least hear if a goat starts like pushing. I'm excited. I know Sophie got these boots for Christmas this year. She got them for Christmas. What you probably don't know is that she's already worn them once. She's Actually, she's worn them a few times, but she's ridden them once in lessons, and this is what they look like still. Sylvie's maturity has changed so much from 13 to 14, so much, that she even takes such but better care of all of her belongings. Like, in the past, she would have wore these in the mud and not even thought, about it at all. Now she comes home, cleans them, and puts them back in the box. So I wanted to take a second and point that out that everybody matures at a different age. Sophie is literally only 14 and she is basically a baby still. She's so, so young in the grand scheme of the world and of age. She's still so, so young. And I'm so happy that she got to take a year off of jumping, figure out what she wanted to do, and practice on her and, and, and work on her and progress on Storm, doing Western stuff, doing more laid back stuff, doing the fair last year and doing shows that were totally different. It seems to have like calmed her down and given her confidence that she didn't have before. It seems to have like recentered her somehow. Like I'm just so proud of her. I'm so glad she got to do that. She got up on Denver 
and just went through the lesson like any other kid her age and did everything that she was supposed to do and I'm just really proud of that I'm proud of her maturity level and how much she's changed even though it's nice outside Sam has a fire on for the doggies because they like to lay in front of it Sophie's playing with friends <laughs> on her VR but I also wanted to say that I just started reading your comments this afternoon I sat down I was reading your comments on our last video about like Gabby making the choice whether she wants to buy or lease or do none of them with this new horse Paris um I've been loving your comments you guys you guys shocked me like I thought I was gonna get a whole bunch of comments about like no Gabby has to lease her like I can't believe you wouldn't buy her and stuff like that but you guys blew me away in those comments like you're so supportive of what Gabby wants you're so supportive of the fact that she's at this transitional stage in her life where she's having to think about the future and and, and the hardest part about that <laughs> Daisy's like just rub me <laughs> the hardest part about that whole transitional stage is that <sighs> Gabby loves so hard like so hard and it kills her like so much is hard for her because she loves so hard like she just loves storm she just loves storm because he okay well i can't talk about this now <laughs> but anyways thank you guys so so much i'm gonna make a video about it i'm waiting for gabby to make her choice i think she's gonna just take like another ride if she can get another ride on her and then we'll know like she just needs time to figure it out and work through all the things that she's working through um, and I'm gonna I'm going to obviously just go with what she wants to do because it's her life and she has priorities and I am proud of who she is like I you can't not every parent can say yeah my kid prioritizes school and education <laughs> because not all of them do and that's okay <laughs> they don't all do that you know what I started almost crying that's why they all came like Ellie cannot stand for me to cry she just gets so <laughs> upset and Ruby too <laughs> okay Whoa. anyway on with the video so, uh, Gabby is home and we decided last minute oh gosh our Ellie is frozen um, we decided last second to go out for ice cream in January we always pull back scale back um, I haven't been eating sugar hardly at all this month, just natural sugar like fruit and vegetables. And I've been feeling so much better. Okay, I know you're cold. What the heck, put man? Put in your shirt. This way, I'm gonna put her in my shirt. So we decided why not go get ice cream. It's been like a lot this month. There's been a lot going on this month. So we just decided let's go get ice cream, have something fun and enjoy the night. Gabby, do you have homework? Oh, thank God. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. So whenever we go to Dairy Queen, I always get a blizzard and I get the turtle pecan blizzard. Gabby gets the chocolate brownie blizzard and Sophie gets the cookie dough blizzard. And Sam does not get the blizzard at all because he doesn't really like ice cream. I don't really like it. Comment below what kind of ice cream you eat when you go to get ice cream. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Don't you know that you're beautiful?